So it's uh, Battlegrounds again. Uh, today we are going to do the uh, spawn animations since a lot of people wanted them over the course of the last few episodes. So I finally thought um, we'll do them today. And yeah, if you guys like my content, uh, feel free to subscribe and like. Also, if you want to give me uh, like ideas for the next episodes, just let me know in the comments. Uh, and yeah, if you think I could do anything better, also let me know in the comments and I might uh, just use what you said or at least take it into consideration. Um, so, for the spawn animations, I don't know if we tried this already, but now we haven't really gotten it. Uh, so, yeah, we got no animation for it. Okay, so let's start at the beginning, really. So, in our template, let's also copy this because we haven't gotten this for the template yet. Um, and yeah, so let's add something in our animations table called the spawn in, which is of course going to be an animation which we want to play once we spawn in with our character. We already got the spawn in here. But I think it's not playing. Let me actually see what the spawn animation is so we can see. Go to my animation editor. And let me load in import this from Roblox here import this so this is our spawn on animation it's just a kick which you can't really see uh, so I might just make a spawn on animation pretty quick so we can just make this so I'm gonna create a new animation I'm gonna be calling this uh, spawn in I'm not gonna give it like a specific name since I'm just going to use this for all of my characters right now. And I kind of want to have like a walk. Uh, so let's get the torso. Let's move it a bit back. Like here maybe. Also my, my animations are very bad. So <laughs> like I'm really bad at animating. Okay. I don't know how I would move all that stuff up though since I kind of want to have the character flying in what if I do something like, like I don't even know if this would work okay yeah it does okay yeah that's that's just a general like concept I got so the character just like kind of is there I'll just try to rotate the character so it's like leaning forward a bit, like kind of falling onto the ground. So I'm gonna get the arms. The camera is so buggy in studio for the last few days. It's honestly crazy. Just gonna move this a bit. The legs a bit too. Something like this. Yeah, that's looking good for the starting animation. Maybe the hat a bit. It's like a bit up. And now I'm just gonna delete these keyframes here. I'm gonna delete them. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna paste them here. Uh, but except I'm gonna move the character down onto the front. I'm gonna rotate the character like a bit more and drag him all the way like down. Something like this. Or even more. No something like this is fine. And then I'm just gonna rearrange all the parts here. I'm like crazy bad at animating like I don't even wanna lie. This is about to look diabolical. Prepare yourself. Oh yeah. 
that's a clean animation of course and then i want the character to stand up so yeah that's that's great that's perfect that's the animation i'm gonna use uh publish roblox also make sure you set uh the action here so animation priority it's gonna be an action and then publish roblox just publish it copy the id and then i'm just gonna paste this into no not the blocking but in every spawn of animation i'm just gonna paste this in I don't know if we got the system to work already. We will see right now. So this is for the Street Fighter. Let's see if we actually spawn in with this animation. So let's get the Street Fighter. It kind of does. But it also kind of doesn't since the animation doesn't really play. Since it gets overridden instantly. So that's something we got to change. Let's go to our clients. Let's see what we play we spawn in. So we played in our icon. And then we play it. So we play it here in our spawn animation. Um, let me see where we play our idle animation. Um, no, this is for the dummies, 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 dummies. Okay. Okay, so back to the spawn in so the first thing we can do to try to fix this because it cancels since the idle animation loads in pretty much is we can disable the animate script that is the first option on how we can fix this so let's just try if this works um so we got our spawn in id here and let me actually like restructure this cut out this part and let me go ahead and do uh, if not statement since it's performance um it's like lighter for performances uh what am i saying it's lighter on the like performance side and yeah it doesn't like take that long uh, because you wanted to actually do this as fast as possible uh yeah so yes and i want to check if it's not zero and if it is then we want to return uh then paste all this i'm going to put this in a two string too so we get the string we don't need to print this because it already works. Um, yeah, then we got the player. Uh, we don't need to get the player since we already got him. Then we get the character, we get the humanoids. You can also do or player dot character edit and then call wait then we get the humanoids and then lastly i'm going to get the animator which is going to be equal to this then uh i'm going to get the local animate script which is going to be equal to our character and in this character we find the first child which is called animates uh, once we got this, we want to check if the animate script exists. We want to not destroy it, but we want to do animate scripts dot disabled is equal to true. Then we want to make the animation. So 
actually move this down here. And to make the animation. And we set this to our spawn on ID. Now we can just say our spawn on ID since the two string uh, happens up here. And then what we want to do is we want to do a P call. And we want to set the animation dot priority equal to enum dot animation priority dot action four. And then once we have the drag, uh, we can do um we first want to get the track. So our local track is going to be equal to our animator, which loads the animation. Once we got this, we can do track dot loot. It's false, and then we can do track uh, column play starting in 0 0.1 and then what we can do is we do a function restore and then we check if I made script then we undisable it and then track dot stopped and we once this with our restore and then humanoids on dites also once the function um if the track uh dot is playing then you also want to do track stop with a zero and then we want to do our restore let's do a few dot died now now this should work let's test it so let's try this out. Go play. And switch our character. It now doesn't even start playing the animation. That's weird. Um that is weird. Let me see. Uh, animation, 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 spawn in. Let's see. No, it works. Okay, something was wrong with the with this up here. I think I got a typo somewhere. So make sure that you got this line here correct. I'll show you it in detail now again. Make sure this is exactly like I wrote it and then your spawn on animations work so this was a short uh, shorter uh, part i hope you still enjoyed and yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace